Hello everyone, and you're watching another Aaron's World tutorial. This time we're going to show you all of the ins and outs of Audacity. Audacity is a free program you can download off of the internet, and they have their own official website. It's totally legal. Okay, now to start off, I'm just going to show you. This is a project I've made. Um, it's just Party in the USA by Miley Cyrus. Um, now to import a track, you have to go to Project, Import Audio. And then you can just select it and open, and it will do it, it all itself. Okay, now this one, it they've changed the layout of the tools. Okay, this is version 1.2. Okay, so you've got all of your play buttons up here. This one's just to record, that one's to play, forward, back, stop, all of the basic stuff. Um, this tool is the highlighting tool. This allows you to highlight a track. And then if I click play, it should just play a certain part. Yep, see? It just plays that bit, which is really good. Um, this is the enveloping tool. Now, the envelope tool, you can put dots everywhere, and then you can lower certain parts. Okay? And what this does, if I play to you now... Okay, so it's got quieter and then it goes back up to loud and and the envelope tool is really good and you can also do it in big selections to make everything right. Now I'm just gonna undo this. Right. It's a really, really clever tool. Okay. Next I'm gonna show you the draw tool, okay? Oh. The draw tool is basically you zoom in and you can edit the clips. It's really clever, but that's for more advanced users, so I wouldn't I don't use that much either. Okay, the time shift tool. This you can if you like move along, you can move selected parts of the clips. This is really useful when you're trying to get everything in the right place. So you could use the scissors tool here. Hold on, if I select the highlight tool, highlight that, cut it, and then see, it just cuts it out. It is really clever. And then, to zoom in, um, if you want to, like, just see certain parts, just zoom it right in, and as you can see, the time gets longer and longer, and it is really useful when doing certain parts. Right, now I'm going to show you recording. Recording is a good thing, because you can use it to make adverts, all sorts. Now, to record, you just go up here. Oh, if I just zoom back out. Uh, where shall I zoom out to? Yep, we'll do it about here. Okay, you just click on the record button, so let's just give it a try. Ah, oh, let's change this to microphone. Okay. Welcome to another Aaron's World tutorial. Okay. Stop. And then if we just highlight it and play that part, see what it sounds like. Welcome to another Aaron's World tutorial. Okay. Okay, so that's good quality. That's partly because my headphones, but yep. Yeah. Um, you can make it from here. You can make it louder or quieter. And there are also loads of different effects. And I'm just going to show you a couple. Okay. One of these effects is echo. So if I select this part, which is where I say OK, of course you need to be on the highlight tool. Effect. Echo. And then you can pick how much and then just preview it. But it does take a while. Hold on. Okay, so if I... You wouldn't have heard that, but if I click OK and then make it louder and play it back. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, hold on, I forgot to press OK. <laughs> Echo. OK, ready? OK. 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 This is a good tool, and you don't just have to select short bits, you could do long bits, you could do all sorts. OK. The next one you could do is speed. So if I select all of this, then you go, can go to effects, change speed. And then that, if you go down, that'll make it longer. And if you go up, that'll make it faster. So if I show you down, and then preview. You have to remember, because all, all it's doing is it's stretching it out. So it does make the quality worse. So the less you do it, the better you're going to get. Okay, the next tool I'm going to show you is a more advanced tool. It gets rid of background noise in your voice. So what you have to do is you just click, and then you have to record some of just background noise, and then some of with your voice and the background noise. So if I just show you what I mean. So I got just a bit of quiet background noise. And if I press record... Welcome to another Aaron's World tutorial. There we go. And if I play that back, I'll make it louder so you can hear. Oh. Hold on. That. A bit too loud. Welcome to another Aaron's World tutorial. Okay, so I don't know if you could hear, but there was background noise. Now, all you have to do is you select some of the background noise, and then go to Effect, um, Noise Removal, and then Get no get Noise Profile. Okay, all that means is you, it then selects whatever you selected, and that's what um, it gets rid of. And then you have to then select the thing that you want to get rid of the background noise from. Effect. Noise removal. And remove noise. And it then, as you can see, it always shrinks it in a bit. And that's where it's getting rid of all the background noise. If you then play back. Welcome to another Aaron's World tutorial. As you can see, it is perfectly got rid of it all. If you try this and it doesn't get rid of it all, just do it again, okay? And you can up it and change some of the effects. Audacity is a really good thing, but it does have its problems. It is only a free piece of software, so it does tend to crash sometimes, and it doesn't always work, and, well, sometimes we just don't know why. Um, luckily, it does try to recover all of the files you have lost, but... Obviously, it can't always do it, so I would recommend you save it regularly. Once you've finished doing whatever it is you wanted to do, you can just go to File, and then Export as MP3 or WAV or whatever you want to export as. Or you can just save it as a project. If you save it as a project, it saves it as an Audacity file, so you can only open it within this program. Another tool I'm going to show you is Fade In. Fade in is good because it makes something seem professional and, well, basically just adds a good effect. Okay, so if I just play you the beginning of the clip. Okay, so now we're going to try and add a fade in to that. So you want it to go in gradually, so I think what we've got is a pretty good selection. So effect. Um, you can also do cross fades in, but we're just going to stick to a normal one the moment. Fade in. Okay, now you can test it out. Okay, as you can see, it's faded in. It sounds really good. You can also do fades out and all sorts. Now, if you undo the fade in, you can, don't forget you can also use the envelope tool. So you just select little bits, and then you can do it as much as you want. It is really, really clever. Um, I'm also going to upload some stuff that I've made using Audacity, and I hope you like them. 
this is a quick tutorial from aronsoul.com. Thanks for watching.